characters and songs are indelibly linked to childhood fantasies. But for at least one family, Disney's make-believe has provided a real way to communicate with their autistic son. He used these characters, mostly from Disney, to develop an inner voice, a kind of inner conversation about how he felt, what he believed, how he'd move forward. Ron Suskind is the author of Life Animated. His son Owen, now 23, grew up watching movies like The Lion King on loop. <laughs> Of course, cartoons are not a certified solution or even a recommended one for most children with autism. But for Owen, Disney animations provided a way for his parents to decode his thoughts. And most importantly, for him to share them. He started to repeat this gibberish. You know, at one point it was just servos, just servos. Now we thought it was juice, juice servos. So we wanted to give him more juice. And we, uh, we had an epiphany. Just your voice. We said, just your voice, that's what you're saying, and Owen looked right at us. It's the first time he really looked at me in about a year. And he started saying, just your voice, just your voice, just your voice. Doctors attributed the Little Mermaid breakthrough to a simple repetition of sounds. Nothing but an echo, really. But the Suskinds felt strongly that he was showing real signs of connection. They kept the Disney theme going strong, this time with Aladdin. I spoke to him as Iago, from hiding under his bedspread, I held up the parrot, and I said, how does it feel to be you, to be Owen, in Iago's voice? And Owen responded, uh, not good, and I have no friends, and I can't understand what people say, and I'm lonely. Working hard, and with the help of doctors, Owen harnessed Disney's social lessons, making friends with the Jungle Book. I like being a bear. That's my boy and overcoming adversity with Dumbo. <laughs> it all is a matter of linkages. Again, coming from the source of his passion and then moving out to the many parts of traditional learning that come uh, from that and are attached to it. Owen's connection went beyond the screen. At age 11, he could barely write his name, but he inked these sketches, line for line. They're not of the heroes, but of his favorites, the sidekicks. They help the hero fulfill his destiny. That's the definition of a sidekick. Some are goofy, some are wise, some are resourceful. And in all of them, Owen sees himself. Ever drawn as a sidekick, he won't, as he says, have himself redrawn. But every day he searches, he says, for his inner hero. And that's a beautiful idea, really. Owen is now at a special education college, acting as president of the Disney Club. And that's where he met his girlfriend. And of course, um, every, uh, every Disney movie, most of them end with a kiss. 